Let's begin with Book 1. In Book 1 of Level 1, we are learning to count and identify units, x's and x squares, and the notation that we can use with them. Let's do a few examples. Here is page 16 from the workbook. The left-hand column is our x squares. The bottom line is our x's. And the right-hand column is our units. Based on the blocks that you see, what kind are they and how many are there? The kind is units and how many is six. So our answer is six units. Let's do the problem on the bottom. What is the kind? They are x squares. And how many of them are there? Nine. Our answer is nine x squared. Good job. Let's move on to book two. In book two of level one, we introduce the addition symbol. We will push our like kinds together, count them, and identify their symbols. Let's do a few examples. Again, we will push together, tell how many, and what kind. This example is taken from the bottom of page eight. Here we want to count like kinds and circle the answer that tells how many and what kind. We have how many x squares? One. How many x's? Three. How many units? Three. Our answer would be one x square, three x's, and three units. On the top of page 12, we see the following picture. First, we write how many of each kind. Top row would be one x square, one x, and one unit. Bottom row would be two x square, one x, and two units. Push together, there are how many x squares? Three. How many x's? Two. How many units? Three. Good, let's do the next one. In the top row, we are counting two x squares, two x's, and three units. In the bottom row, we are counting three x squares, three x's, and four units. Together, there are how many x squares? Five. How many x's? Five. How many units? Seven. Great. Now on to book three. In book three of level one, we become more familiar with written algebraic expressions. Let's do a few examples. Let's look at the example at the top of page three. You have already done this, so it will be easy for you. How many x squares do we have? Two. How many x's? Two. How many units? Four. Which of the written algebraic expressions at the bottom of the problem does this represent? Right, the first one. Now on to page 20. Let's tell how many of each kind, then count them, then write the answer. The top row is 2x squared, 2x, and 2 units. The bottom row is 1x squared, 6x, and 3 units. Counting the same kinds added together, there are 3x squared plus 8x plus 5 units. The last problem is done the same way. There are 4x squared, 4x, and 6 units, and 1x squared, 5x, and 9 units. Together, there are 5x squared plus 9x plus 15. You're doing great.